Hey, ever wondered whatever happened to uh, the best late night uh, comedy? Naked night, uh, just uh, wiped them off and gave everybody uh, something that's even better than uh, the classic uh, late night show. Actually, not to be better than the classic late night show. But we do have Week Up there with Ellie Euler, and that's better than the current late night show, right? <laughs> well, please, welcome here for everybody. After tonight's weeknight update episode, get ready for lots of fun 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 with a headphones hour. Show you headphones is the best. Change my mind. And then after that, fun with tape. That's right, fun with tape. I know, it's random. But what can you expect? Stick at night. Come on. You're not gonna see uh, this kind of a show anywhere else. People have tried, but everybody has failed. So, stay with us. It's time for weekly update. I am Ellie Rule. Let's get into it. From the YouTube Dojo, no, William Shatner could not be here tonight. It's weekly update with Ellie Rule, and now, and who? Let's be honest, has uh, a thing or two to say uh, to Mr. Shatner. Mr. Ellie Gunny Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update. America Mueller's old guys office. <laughs> Alright. Baby Lamb Crea uh, Creations made the uh, theme song. Diamond Dark Cammy made the bumpers. And Fabrice Orr's Shaker Rock Hall Channel is responsible for the previous. Okay, now. That's just what we're asking. Alright, Specs Mark Cannon Smash. Hey, it's Def Hollow Nights Week Lantern. Everybody else in game. Uh, in, in, yeah, in game plays. The Rockets with this movie night program for local and say with interview land and things like that. And Martin Maniac Dr. Bud Studios and Cassie Dragon with uh, random stuff. Now, I also want to give a special belated birthday a shout out. I, I know I just gave him a, a birthday shout out on Twitter and uh, things like that, but. But you know what? Uh, his birthday was uh, this past Saturday and I couldn't have a chance to really wish him a, bir a happy birthday on this uh, show until now. So, Mr. Ram, again, happy birthday to you. Alright. Hope that your birthday was swell. Alright, let's get this over with. What's up? What's up with Mr. William Shatner? A man who loves to do everything. Well, he was a Star Trek guy. Anyway, he can't do the Vulcan salute. Wait a minute, that was a Star Trek staple. Come on. The classic Star Trek fans are mad now! <coughs> Excuse me. Now he did get emotional about being in space. A few weeks ago he was the oldest person to go uh, to outer space. To go into outer space. You know, he's a little over 90 now, but you know what I mean, right? Anyway, he lasted 10 minutes. I mean, he was only up there for about 10 minutes. And he went on the Blue Origin ship. Really? Captain Kirk would not be happy. I'm serious. Why? I mean, seriously. If you're going to go up into outer space like Captain Kirk, you know, well, come back to the whole thing. You know, don't, don't just go up there for like 10 minutes and then come back down. Come on, now. Seriously. Ugh. This... Uh, MP and Quakers, let's go top eight this time. Here we go. <coughs> All right, you know how this top eight list works. You know, uh, random stuff, blah blah blah. Uh, boys, what's the category tonight? Tonight's category: top eight reasons why William Shatner was only in space for a few minutes. Number eight. He wanted to be on Earth forever. Number seven, he doesn't want to be Captain Kirk anymore. Number six, he wants John Stewart to go up there. Number five, he wants to be around forever. Number four, space? It wasn't his style. Number three, he originally wanted George Takai to go up instead of him. Number two, he has better things to do. And number one, he's scared of heights. Really? William Shatner's afraid of heights? Hey, why not? I mean, uh, I mean, if you were a friend of heights, would you want to spend, uh, no more than ten minutes in space? I wouldn't even spend one minute, uh, in space if I was a friend of heights. My point exactly. Good point. 
Thank you, boys. Thank you. We'll be right back. The kids still call it week now. Now here it is. Your father night. Story time. At last, the two came together for a tender kiss. <coughs> oh. Six ninety five a yard. Is that the best price you can get on good carpeting? I don't know for sure, but I don't see how anybody could do any better. Especially when you consider what that six ninety five gets you besides nice carpeting. It gets you polyfoam padding, professional installation, free Bissell rug shampoo with two rooms, and with credit, no installment payment for sixty days. What else can we throw in? Well, how about one free T-shirt with any order? Five eighty to three hundred Edward Scott and the boys. Ed, how are you tonight, buddy? I'm doing all right. Uh, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. You sure? Yeah, why? Because you were coughing a little bit on and off. Don't worry, I'm fine, okay? You know, I make sure that I'm getting a lot of water and everything else, right? You know, sure, there's a little bit of a flu war going around uh, my family, but it's all right. You know, uh, you know, don't worry, it's nothing too serious, alright? Alright, if you say so. Okay, now, <laughs> let's... <coughs> let's have some talking time, let's talk about it, let's go, huh? Let's talk about it. Okay. Now, there are uh, many things that uh, people don't know about William Shatner, a.k.a. the guy who, uh, who did uh, Star Trek for uh, several years. Now, here's the thing, okay? Now, even though uh, the original Star Trek series uh, was supposed to be uh, a five-year mission, it was supposed to be a five-year mission, but instead, you know, it lost came on the air in 1966, I believe, and then lasted all the way up until 1969, so it was really a three-year mission, not a five-year mission, as uh, someone once, uh, you know, declared. However, listen to this, okay? You know, uh, William Shatner was responsible for doing a bunch of uh, things, but here's the thing, okay? You know, there is this thing called the uh, Live Long and Prosper greeting that Mr. Spock uh, does, aka Leonard Nimoy. Now, everybody else was supposed to do uh, as well. You know, but for some strange reason, no, actually, uh, William Shatner right, can't even uh, do it. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, uh, you know, 50 years after uh, the uh, A Month Time uh, episode aired in 1967, you know, more than 50 years now actually, he still can't uh, perform it. You know, and he couldn't even do it on a Tonight Show uh, in 2009 either. So, that gives you some indication of how... Uh, you know, uh, crazy uh, he was, or how crazy the uh, salute was and everything else, so. You know, uh, so what, so what is it? Is, uh, is William Shatner uh, really a Star Trek uh, star, or is he just uh, someone who uh, Star Trek, uh, or you know, the people who uh, created Star Trek uh, found at the last minute? Man, I keep uh, messing up uh, jokes there. 
But anyway, this is this, okay? He is currently 90 years old, and he went out to outer space a few weeks ago, you know, with the, with three other uh, crew members of the uh, Blue Origin ship. You know, and, you know, he surpassed, uh, you know, the, uh, the record uh, set by uh, Wiley Funk, you know, several months earlier. You know, as the oldest man in space. William Shatner is 90. Wally Funk, you know, is 82. Interest. But anyway, listen to this, okay? You know, he only lasted 10 minutes in space. You know, which makes no sense at all. Alright, despite the fact that, uh, he was on the ship. With uh, the Blue Origin uh, VP or Vice President Audrey Powers, Black Labs co founder Dr. Chris uh, Boschusian, Boschusian, and Metadata co creator Glenn Devise. And I'm like, really? The guy played Captain Kirk, one of the most iconic. You know, uh, Star Trek captains of our time. And he was only in outer space, for real, for about 10 minutes. Come on! You know, it, what makes us even sadder was that neither uh, Captain Cook nor William Shatner had what it takes to be in outer space for too long. I mean, seriously, what gives? You know, apparently when Shatner thought, hey, if Captain Kirk uh, didn't uh, last uh, five years uh, up there uh, than he was supposed to, then why should I last no more than uh, ten minutes? That's what he thought. I'm like, really? Really? And he just turned 90. Just turned 90. Shame, 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 shame. <coughs> Tomorrow night we're going to deal with Harry Styles, then on Wednesday Emma Watson, Thursday, ooh, Jennifer Lawrence, and then on Friday, Holiday Cookies. With music from Mario Kevin and uh, some acting performances uh, from Karama K Animation, Anastasia J, Fabrice Olshake, and Rocky Watch, and of course, Mr. M. Man. Are we going to have uh, a good week uh, coming up? That's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. That's news. I'm Alski. Spro all by Pro Wall. When it's night time across the nation, stay on your favorite station. It's a viewer's delight. Nick, 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 Nick at night.